Hello internet people, in this video I'll show you, in my opinion, 6 most useful Google Analytics reports. As a conversion optimizer, I use these reports daily at my work. With these reports, you'll be able to get actionable insights that you can apply on your website and drastically improve it. I'll show you my 4 top standard reports and 2 awesome custom reports to dig deeper into the data. Arnie, tell the audience how they will feel after this video. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is. Tip sweat punch. All right, I'll be using Google's demo account to show you the reports. And this data is actually coming from Google's merchandise website. So the data is real people. Check the description if you want to get access to Google Analytics demo account. I'll be referring to some e-commerce metrics in this video, but this video is useful to you even if you have a blog or business website. One of my go-to reports in any situation is the channels report. You can find it under acquisition, all traffic, channels. This report is awesome on so many levels. First, this will reveal how is your traffic different depending on the channel. So for example, did they come from organic search like Google or maybe paid ads or perhaps other websites referred your page. Now the cool thing about this report is that you can see the three most important report type in one overview. That's acquisition, behavior and conversions. So first one answers how the user came to your website Behavior tells you what they did there and conversion tells you if they bought or finished the goal that you've set up. Please note that you can always change the view from conversions to goals from this drop down. One of your goals might be to be as smooth as this guy. My wife, my soul, my sweetheart, my only woman. First, I compare the numbers with each other. So how organic is doing against paid and how email is beating everything and display is always the worst. But that's not really fair comparison, so it's good to compare with the previous period that could be a last month or last year. You can add it in this date section like this. So you can see here the orange is the previous period and the blue is the current period. And here at the bottom you can see if the trend is going up or down. And for example for organic search the amount of users is going up but the conversion rate is down by a lot. That's something I will further research. For a longer explanation of this report, I'll leave link in the description. Arnie, how do you persuade users to visit your site? Grant me a website visit. And if you do not listen, then the hell with you. Since we basically have three types of devices, mobile, tablet and desktop, it's crucial we know the difference in the user's behavior on each device. You can get to the report that will tell us exactly this by going to Audience, Mobile and Overview. The same setup as in the previous report, you have three categories with three metrics in each. What is interesting on this website is that the conversion rate on mobile is five times higher than on desktop. Normally mobile is about half of the desktop conversion rate. You can compare the performance of each device or maybe you should drive more traffic to mobile devices since it's converting better. One thing I want to mention is that the device category is available in almost all reports as secondary dimension. For example, on the landing pages report, if you choose a secondary dimension from this drop down, I can select device category. This will add a second column indicating the device. And from here, you can see that the homepage is more than four times more visited on desktop. Arnie, what do you think about desktops? <laughs> Mobile traffic keeps growing and growing in pretty much all countries. So it's absolutely essential that you dig deeper into mobile performance based on the operating system. You can do this by going to audience, mobile, devices, and then setting the primary dimension to operating system. It's very common to see that the conversion rate is higher on iOS. However, in this case, there might be an issue with Android devices, since there are zero transactions and zero conversions. The issue might be with the website itself or the way it's being tracked. You could go even deeper into this report by clicking on the operating system. This will reveal the operating system version. This can give you further insights if there's something wrong with the specific version. For example, the 
11.4.1 has considerably lower conversion rate than the rest of the versions. Something that I would look into even more. For example, by testing the website on this operating system and version and just seeing if the traffic is coming from countries that could even convert. For example, if you sell only in the US, but a lot of traffic comes from Europe. So you'll have a lot of people talking like this. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. And if you found this video helpful so far, I would appreciate if you could hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Now let's take a look at your pages that users land on by going to behavior, site content, and landing pages. This report shows you on what page users landed when they came to your website. This report will help you to optimize your landing pages and see why some of the pages are doing better in retaining the users. You can see this by looking at the average session duration, pages per sessions, and bounce rate, which means users came to the website and didn't take any actions on the page. As a side note, the scroll is not considered an action in GA. Anyway, this report also helps with determining the most popular articles and blog posts you have. For example, if your colleagues are asking where to focus their time on, you can grab the top 10 blog posts on this page. Arnie, say something profound. You are not you. You are me. No shit. The next custom report will tell you what days and what time you have the most visitors on your site. You can get it from the description with just a few clicks. Simply click on the link and you will see this screen. Then choose the view you want to apply to and don't worry, you are the only one that will see this report. Oh yeah, don't forget to make sure you have a longer time period selected. For example, a few months should do it. Now the time zone is whatever is set in the admin settings, like this one here. And as you can see, in this store, the mornings are when the most visitors come to the site. But then, when you sort the table by revenue, afternoon and evenings are best times for revenue generation. The next tab in this report will show you what day of the week brings most people and revenue. So in this store, Tuesdays and Thursdays are the most popular days in terms of sessions. Oh, by the way, in the week starts from Sunday and it's a zero in this report, you can just hover over the question mark like this to see the tips like these. The third tab is just a combination of the previous two and the fourth tab shows the time of the day and specific date. Soon you'll be crunching data with the same enthusiasm as this fella. I'm so I drive here to Zex. In the next report, we will be able to easily identify low hanging fruits. You can grab this custom report in the description. It shows you the traffic split by the browser and the browser version. Why is this report so useful? Well, it's very easy to look at certain browser versions and see if the conversion rate is significantly lower than others. Now, unfortunately, there is something wrong with the Chrome and Android on this demo account, but I'll filter by Safari. Pay attention to the conversion rate in this column. What stands out here is Safari version 604.1, it has significantly lower conversion rate than the other browsers. Why is that? Maybe there is a small bug in the checkout, or there is a, some issues with the user experience. Or maybe this is just a tracking issue. Now, you might be wondering, how can you get your hands on, on Safari 604.1? You probably can't. But luckily, there is affordable software such as Browser Stack that have hundreds of different devices and browser versions to test on. Turkish Rambo, how do you test your browser? <laughs> Originally, I was planning to stop the video at this point, but I just had to include Checkout Funnel Report as a bonus for those that have an e-commerce web store. This is an essential tool to find out if there is any friction in your checkout flow. You can see the data in this report only if your website has enhanced e-commerce up and running. If you don't, check the description for a video that explains how to do it. And you can find this report under conversions, e-commerce and checkout behavior. This report will tell you at what step users drop off in the checkout flow. So how many people started this billing and shipping page and how many people went on to payment and how many people actually had a transaction. 
So here, just over 6,000 started the checkout and just over 400 had a transaction. This means about 6% conversion rate in the checkout. Now, the biggest drop off is between payment and the review page. It's huge. Can you imagine? People already entered their billing and shipping information, selected payment method, but then for some reason, they didn't make the conversion. This tells me that there is a major issue here somewhere. Maybe the review page is confusing people, or is it maybe it's too long. Whatever is the reason, if this would be fixed, you can see major improvements. You should see about 80 to 90% conversion rate from payment to transaction. If your data is not this clear, you can always filter out the data further. I like to look at conversions per device category and per user type. This will tell you if you have a specific issue with mobile or desktop and also for new and returning users. Okay, those were my favorite reports. Did I miss any or maybe you have some custom reports you love? Let me know below in the comments. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos related to GA that I think you should watch next. Oh,